Saludos a todos! Welcome to the first installment of our new channel called School of Fish. Now you might be asking yourself, who are you and who is we? Well, my name is Tyler and we just happens to be me and my two kids. I have three kids, but two of them are of fishing age. Today, my two kids are not going on this adventure with me. However, I am meeting up with a buddy of mine at Strawberry Reservoir in Utah. It's gonna be a seven hour drive. I've gotta stop at the store, get some ice, but everything else is loaded. We are ready to go. We're ready to fish. We're gonna do a little fly fishing, maybe a little bait fishing, uh, throw in some tubes, some jigs and stuff like that. But I am excited to meet my buddy Birch up there. We're gonna actually be sleeping in this our chariot of fire that is the that is the vehicle that is going to take us to strawberry and the vehicle that will provide me shelter so i hope you all enjoy this video we're going to do a little camping a little fishing a little cooking let's go first things first i gotta stop at albertson's get a red onion for a secret recipe that we're gonna make something not really seen on YouTube very much. Something from a beloved land called Ecuador. And we will be making that on this trip. I got to stop into Albertsons, grab a few bags of ice, grab a red onion, and then we will be on the road headed to Strawberry Reservoir. Yes! <laughs> Just a little travel update. I am in Moab. I am three hours away from home, four hours about from the destination. Stopped at a gas station to get my favorite flavor of Gatorade. My favorite flavor of Gatorade ever, Cool Blue, without a doubt. Best flavor. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way, but I love Cool Blue Gatorade, so Gatorade, you know, keep making it. But they have a zero, a cool blue zero. So we're gonna do a little taste test, see if the cool blue zero is as good as the regular cool blue. When I All right, everybody, let me give you a quick rundown of what happened. Last night, I pulled into Duchesne, Duchesne, as Birch calls it, and uh, ended up staying at a hotel. And uh, But now, as you can see, right back here, we've got Strawberry Reservoir. Beautiful day out. It was supposed to be super windy. No wind right now. Birch is already out casting his bait. Uh, trying to get uh, a bite on a rapala, it looks like. So, anyways, we're gonna start fishing. I'm done talking. All right. So finally, after a thousand hours of fishing, Birch finally has a fish. Oh baby, and it's a good one. Birch, no pressure, no pressure right now. I didn't even bring my net. I thought I had a snag to be honest. Holy crap. That is a big fish. Violent head shakes. That is a that is a nice cutthroat trout. Holy Moses. Um. What do you want me to what do you where do you do you want to land try to land it? Left, right. That's a big fish. Holy crap. That's why you come to Strawberry, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've been... This is what we've heard tale of, Birch. Giant cutthroat trout. Holy my gosh. Dude, that thing's 
pushing at least five or six. Let him play. Oh my heavens, Birch. Oh my heavens. gosh what a fish what a fish don't horse him too much I was trying to take a video <laughs> for you My net would not have caught that fish. My net would not have, I, it, we would have gotten it in a little easier, but oh my heavens to Betsy. What's the uh, keeper size on these? 20, I think this lost 16, 22. Over that you have to let them go? No, that's, you have to let them go in the slot. Hooked good. It's more a matter of what pound tip. That's a big snag. It's a beautiful snag, is what it is. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. Here, why don't we do this? Why don't I hold your the rod? Or not? Or not? Because he's stripping line. Stripping line. Don't let him go in that there, that ledge right there. If you want to grab. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap, Bert. Bert, I got it. You just pin that fish. My word. Bert. Dude, what do you what do you think that weighs? What do you think right now? Just I don't even know. Having girthiness. Having felt it. I can't, I can't even reach my hands around the body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you want me to unhook him? Yeah. Or maybe let me clean him off. Clean him off first. I'll get my pliers. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's at least six to seven. What a beautiful fish, that giant adipose fin. Oh my heavens. Dude, that would feed a family for days. Don't let him swim off with. We're gonna buy a skill and decided oh we won't catch anything that big but Now that Birch has broken the ice, literally and figuratively, uh, we kind of know what we're going to use. And I'm sorry it is windy out here, but I've been using this jig that I tied all day. 
it's just like a little black marabou jig nothing super fancy but i'm gonna switch it up i've got some tube jigs like birch has that's what he caught that monster on so i'm like why not use that instead so i think i threw it in the rocks over here let's see if i can find it oh birch is a gentleman i've got so many hooks in my pocket right now totally not safe don't put hooks in your pockets kids but anyway i'm gonna go little dusty with that tube jig right there similar to birch's maybe a little darker profile it's got that red and black flake in it um but yeah i'm gonna try that see if i can't catch a fish seems like we're on fish now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages i just had a bite i hit the ice over there yep and i saw the white under belly of said fish i'm gonna throw this out there got just that tube jig the little morsel of worm and birch is gonna throw right into my spot you uh-huh i actually threw up on the ice dropped it off the ice and uh had a bite so let's see if i oh dear that was not a good cast birch i apologize never cross lines gentlemen and ladies because we are not sexist this is not where i had a bite right a few seconds ago but the fish are here it seems i actually was at this spot with without birch and i went back and i thought you know i feel bad i need to keep get birch over here too so we went got the got the yukon the pewter chariot and uh, came over to this spot where i was like there's got to be fish all right there we go about 15 feet onto the ice Oh, skipped him. Dang it. What I've got is a, a Fenwick HMX rod paired with a Fluger reel. Very underrated reels, Birch. Absolutely. The Flugers. It's not what the president. Yep, the president just handled that. I'm going to say seven, Birch. It was at least seven on that fish. Birch also going for the ice shelf. You gotta be careful casting onto the ice because it will sometimes hang up. Okay, that should be a good one. A little reel, a little pop. kind of feeling rejuvenated I had a bite birch caught a hog the wind calmed down for a second that's when I had a bite as soon as the wind came back up dunzo are these US made worms birch or are these for oh no Canadians product of Canada For those of you who don't know, probably don't, because this is like my first video ever on YouTube, but Birch and I met many moons ago in the land of Ecuador, and uh, we've stayed in touch. We also have a podcast called the Behind the Eye Patch Podcast, and we uh, cover, oh my cover the Las Vegas Raiders. Birch and I are both Raiders fans, and then we also have a friend named Micah. Try not to name drop, but Micah also has a very famous YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, you can check his out. High Adventure Videos! 
Birch and I are just trying to jig some more piggies from the depths. Into a fish on the old tubing jig. Doesn't feel like as big as Birch's, but we've got some gnarly head shakes. It looks like a rainbow. It's a rainbow. We got dinner. We got dinner. Come on, Tyler. See you the deal. Oh, oh, oh. That's not a bad fish. Nope, that's a cutthroat. We do not have dinner. Nope, it's in the slot. Slot. Birch has a slot buster. This is just a busta, a so busta heart. That's strawberry, if the fish are between 16 and 23 inches, if they're a cutthroat, you have to release the 27 inch. Cutthroat. I don't know. He's lively, but he's not. He might be a pound and a half. Definitely not big fish of the trip, but you know what? I drove seven hours to get here. I want to catch a gosh dang fish. Death rolls. Birch with the honors. Oh, perhaps. Birch is the official fish grabber. Well, I'm on the board. I'm on the air, sled god. So Birch has one. Mine was like a quarter of the size of his. So now my task is to, number one, get another piece of worm going. And number two, beat Birch. Let's see if we can do that. I don't think I will, but I uh, that was a $28 fish. If I only catch one, 28 bucks. So anyways, we're gonna keep going because we, we're catching fish. But don't tell anybody we are. All right, Birch has got another one. Not feeling like the last one, but. A fish nonetheless. I will attempt to be the fish scooper this time. The pooper scooper. Like another little another cutthroat. You can see it lurking in the depths. This one we might just be able to flip up onto the bank. like the one that I caught about the same size very nice A little dart. Well done, Birch. Thank you, sir. Another fish. 
that we didn't catch. Just checking out. You always want to check your lures when you bring them in because you can maybe you can see that green moss there. But fish don't like that. And they see it and they run away. So you got to peel the moss off and then head back to deeper water, tuna. All right, we're going to try this again. Oh, birch hooks into another one. Hear the drag a rolling. So, Oh, there's a giant one. It was like following it in. Holy cow, I hope you, I hope I was able to get that. There was another fish following this fish in, like it was gonna eat it for dinner. Maybe I'm throwing out my jig too far. Are you gonna need assistance, Birch? No, I got it. Okay, Birch has got that one. I'm gonna keep on, keep on keeping on, as they say. cast in my spot yeah I sure did <laughs> we've been sharing sharing is caring just come in I'll let you go there you go I don't think he cared I offered assistance right. let it be known Yeah, three for Birch. <laughs> right in the kisser. Beautiful fish here. My goodness, it's they're just like pink and full of life and voracious. And there he goes. Well done, Birch. Thank you, sir. Someday I wish to aspire to your, uh, to your awesomeness. I offered you one of my tubes. It's true. He did. He did offer me that. Birch has another one. Birch that makes a baker's dozen today, huh? No. Just for, he says. Just for. He's got the right color of tube. They're, the fish are cruising these shorelines. And like when the sun comes out, we can see them. No, I don't. I'm trying to catch my own fish. All right, so there's Birch's fish. Oh yeah, it's just hanging out with it. Drop in over there. <laughs> there were two fish together. Birch has another one. We've been watching them cruise this shoreline when the sun's out, we've noticed. It's like sun's out, gun's out, but sun's out, fish come to feast. And there's one right underneath this rock I just dropped. Cutthroat from Strawberry Reservoir. Oh, 
Oh, I can see a crawdad claw under a rock on, over there. Birch just has the magic touch today. Maybe tomorrow the fish gods will... Very nice fish. Indeed. Senor Birch! Kicking trash! That one took off like a rocket. Birch is about to the point where he's just going to get cocky and just keep catching them all night long while I stand here looking like a fool. I've caught every one. Same spot. I cast there. No luck. No luck for Tyler. Well, guess what? Birch has another one. Another nice looking cutty throaty. Oh my heck, there's a fish right here. Birch has a theory that these fish follow each other because they think they're feeding. I think it's a pretty good theory. Out of the way. Buckwheat. I was laying down, resting my back, and Birch hooks into another. At this point, I've only got myself to blame. I'm not real sure what I'm doing wrong, but Birch is doing everything right. That is for sure. I don't know if it's my color of the jig is off a little bit, if it's like a little faster diving than birches because I've got an eighth and he's got a sixteenth ounce jig. But there's another fish that makes a baker's dozen bob. Very nice birch. Well done. Off like a rocket. All right, guys, I just hooked into one. Birch and I moved spots. Two casts in. Would have been two for two. I had one like right here, right in front of me. But here's another one. Looks like another cutthroat from what I can tell. Feels decent. Feels like a good fish. Not like a tank. Like, holy crap. Oh, oh, he's in there. Oh, oh, he swam right up on shore. <laughs> he went to the rocks. There he stand. Right there, perfect. Well, Birch, two bites, two casts. Oh, if I don't fall in the freaking water. He just laid there. It's a nice fish. Right in the top of the lip with that little tube jig. He's got a funky, a funky gill. Don't know if you can see that, but his gill's out. That wasn't for me. But we're gonna let him go. All right! Woohoo! Birch and I just decided to move spots, and lo and behold, 
saw one fish jump, had one like right here, and then caught that one. All right. Day one, um, we've got five fish for Birch, two fish for Tyler, um, and right now we're cooking up dinner, which is some lovely sizzling hamburgers that we're cooking with a fork and a spoon and a propane grill and everything so yes fantastic setup we were definitely prepared to come here um hopefully tomorrow we're not real sure what we're gonna do we're, we might head to a different spot we might stay here we haven't really decided yet but hopefully tomorrow we get some more fish because that's why we're here to get more fish so we're gonna eat some hamburgers and then uh catch up with you later good morning everybody we are on the hunt for the elusive trout of Strawberry Lake again this morning. Last night got a little cold. Uh, I don't know, it was cold. It was very cold and some of the edges froze up. So yesterday where we were fishing, that's where we wanted to go this morning. However, because of poor ice conditions, the ice, the lake refroze, And so the edges of the ice were back to the bank. It wasn't very fishable. So Birch and I are back where we were this morning by a marine or where we were yesterday morning by the marina looking for fish we've changed up our tackle to those two baits tipped with a piece of worm like we did last time and birch is already casting um and he looks good doing it doesn't he ladies and gentlemen um anyways all right i'm gonna get fishing hopefully uh we will have a story to tell as good as the one yesterday today all right, guys, we have returned to the holy place of the holies where we were catching fish yesterday. Um, we're trying to break up all this ice. I don't know if you can see it out there, but there's a layer of ice. So I threw my jig out on top of the ice and all of a sudden, bam, fish on. You can see my rod right there bent a little bit. Um, the fish is still playing with this. I'm gonna kind of tire him out because it's hard to get to the water right now because of the ice. But yes, we're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can man the reel and the camera at the same time, and we'll see if we can find our our fish that it it came up through the ice and took the jig that I had. There, I think you can see it there. There she is. There she is. Nice cutthroat, nice cutthroat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I cannot believe that. Woo! -hoo! Fish came up through the ice and grabbed that jig. I kid you not. Holy smokies. All right, I've got to put the camera down and uh, I'll be right back. Now we're gonna have a heck of a time. There's another fish, that makes four for me. Not real sure. Birch has got uh, his line wrapped around mine. If you just unhook said fish. We need that worm, sir. Yeah, we need that worm, we're running low. All right, we're going to take care of this. any fish. 
Boyato, which is a fish soup that they make, and it's delicious. I just need to chop up a little bit of this onion and we'll start on our adventure. The white stuff is called yuca. It is a similar, it's a, like a cousin to a potato. And they put that in their soup instead of potatoes. So, we got a little bit of oil in here. We're going to try and get this light. Now, dummy, first you have to turn on the propane. Got a nice medium heat on the camp chef, and we're cooking this in a Dutch oven, which makes it kind of neat. I've got a little thing of cumin and chili powder as well, and I need to chop up these tomatoes. This tomato has kind of a little blah to it, so we're gonna take the blah part off. So, put those to the side. Simmering down, We've got the tomatoes and all of the yummy stuff in there. It smells great. We're gonna add in some water. Cilantro. So we're going to put in a few sprigs of cilantro and we'll save some to put on fresh. All right. Ooh, it is boiling. That means it's time to add the fish. So I'm going to put the lid back on. This is not store bought fish. Actually, it is store-bought fish. I brought some just in case because strawberry has weird regulations. So between 16 inches and 22 inches, you cannot partake of that fish. So I had some um, Atlantic salmon that I bought at home. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some chunks of this drop those chunks in here let it cook for about 15 minutes until this is nice and done normally they use tuna as well so tuna uh, in Ecuador is 
fairly common, and especially like I said, along the coastline. Um, and so we would mostly eat this with tuna, but we decided, hey, why not try it with, we were gonna use fish, but from strawberry that we caught. So, but alas, and a lad, it did not happen. We didn't catch any fish, but we did. But we let Birch's ginormous jumbie go. So I'm just running these plantains through the mandolin. You can see that it's like nice little chips. Come on now. All right, I think the uh, fish is about done. We're gonna actually take it out of the broth, put in that yucca root, this stuff right here, that looks kind of like potatoes. Um, we're gonna let that boil for a minute. And then uh, we'll get the, uh, the chifle started as well with some oil, you have to fry it. Let's see what that looks like, oh yeah. It's kind of starting to fall apart. Looks good. We're gonna take those pieces of fish out. All right, back to the chifle. These, I think the oil is hot enough. Birch was testing. We're just gonna take these and just kind of put it in there. Not kind of put them in there. We're going to. We're putting these in the oil. They are going to cook. They will come out nice and chippy-like. Then you put them in the enciboyado. Well, thank you, Birch. Look at that. What, what an assistant. Well, it would be a better assistant if we had brought the spatulas. The yeah. And a ladle would have been nice, too. But you know what? We can improvise. All right, here we go. We are cooking now. There it is. Can you see that? I wish you could smell it. It's delicious. We got the fish in there, the yucas in there. We've got the chifle right over here. Our great assistant Birch has cooked those to perfection. Mmm, nice and crispy. I think maybe. I didn't bring any salt, but I've got oh, birch. I've got birch. He's gonna dust those with some Johnny's seafood seasoning. And that'll give those a little flavor. The uh, then to add a little bit more flavor, Ecuadorians put this on like everything. It's called curtido, and what it is is it's lime juice. Onions, tomatoes, and cilantro, and salt, and that's it. So we're gonna put a spoonful of that on top of the enciboyado, which we have prepared here. Once again, look how nice that looks. We've got our we've got our fish that's cooked perfectly right there. The yuca chunks are coming along. They are pretty much done. I'm just gonna give that a nice stir there. All right, there she is, the finished product, Enciboyado. It smells good. Let's taste it. All right, here we go. We're gonna get in here. Kind of mix that in, mix it around. Got some fish, a little bit of tomato, a little onion. Mm. Get a little hit of lime in there too. Mm. Needs a little salt. Next time I'll bring salt. But other than that, it tastes like Ecuador. Well, Birch just left. It is windy. We had planned on staying longer to fish, 
but unfortunately the weather just didn't really cooperate we're supposed to get like a foot of snow in this area so i also am going to head out i was going to stay the night um, in the yukon again like we did last night but i am going to head out and head home or head for home um, i had a great time uh, this you know i know this video probably doesn't show everything that happened we caught 11 fish one was a giant you can't ask for anything better than that on a fishing trip we got to you know hang out with one of my best friends um i've known him for a long time we get to go fishing like maybe once a year and so to me it's more about like memories sometimes than it is about fishing yeah we the weather kind of stunk I'm so happy that we could go fishing, that he got that monster fish. Um, I'm going to sign out for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. The Ensoboyado was good. Um, I have to try that a little bit different next time with like some salt. Um, but I had an awesome time. Strawberry Reservoir, great place to go fishing. And uh, we'll, catch, we'll catch you guys in another video, hopefully with the kids next time. See you later.